Hello everybody. You join me today at Quarry Park. If I do sound a bit muffled, it's because I've got my little face mask on to keep me little chin warm. Now I'm just going to do a local ride, starting at Quarry Park and uh, head over around about Hatfield and Hatfield Woodhouse, visit some of my local paths and uh, see how things are operating today in the winter. So it's all on it's all on uh, ad hoc basis this one. I don't know if it'll make a video or not but uh, we shall see. So if you're local to Doncaster and uh, you've not been to this particular part which is uh, Quarry Park off uh, Broadway and uh, High Street at Dunsville give it a go. It was a disused uh, sand quarry decades ago but the council took it over and made it uh, quite a leisurely place for folk. A few little small woodland areas, play park and uh, a grassy area. Thank you. And for those that watch the uh, earlier videos, see what I used to do the the challenges. Over to my left and the uh, staircase. So I think I'm going to head over to Winthrop Wall down by Rue and Potatoes. So I need to uh, go through the grass area here and come out the other side on High Street, I think. So I'll take St Mary's Road, there's a shortcut up here, onto the high street, lined by the surgery, and uh, onto Winthorpe Wall. It rubbish. All right. Oh, great. Fucking about there. <laughs> great. Is that you? <laughs> yeah, fucking hell. Yeah. <sighs> that is a good job. I'm not fat. I want to go up through there. Muddy, muddy here, isn't it? Yeah. Terrible. Yep. I don't think it would be a bit uh, rough down here, but uh, that's where the tractors have been. Now it's uh, hardened off a bit, which is good. So this will take me onto the bridle path, which runs along, I suppose, the, uh, the farm at the M18 and. Uh, and potato. If you just found my channel and you wonder what it was all about, I'm a uh, lad from Donny. He was the term lad pretty uh, liberally. I'm in my 50s. Um, I set this channel up, one to get me out, two to uh, encourage people during the lockdowns to get out uh, and also share what I do not only as entertainment on YouTube, but uh, on Strava. So the, the maps that, uh, or rather the rides, the routes that I take, which are videoed, will be on my Strava, which is Donny Lad MTB. Um, there's a link there on my Facebook as well, Donny Lad MTB Facebook page. And talking of Facebook, I uh, subscribe and look for quite a few uh, groups to get some idea of uh, places to visit or future visits 
and one of the local areas of Doncaster, I think it's Cycles Trails or something. I don't know the precise name, but if you look up the biking uh, groups on Facebook and look for one which has a main cover of a big Y, which I think is a, a sculpture or something uh, near Rosington, that's the one. And there's uh, a lot of people now refinding cycling again after many years mainly because they're forced to because of the lockdowns but they're thoroughly enjoying it and it's a good page or a good group to join just to get some ideas and share pictures routes and information and I've uh, come across some uh, great people there as well so that's something to look out for guys we just come uh, from down there, there's High Street, uh, Winthorpe all down here, and I'm on the bridle path to uh, Ruan Potatoes. So uh, I'm a bit over overbearing with my uh, gear on today. I found a little face mask which is uh, getting too hot to be fair. So that's going to have to come off. And I think uh, I might just have to take uh, my gloves off as well. Uh, but I have got my uh, onesie on, that's uh, nice and warm. I did imagine there'd be quite a few uh, puddles, but we shall see. And if there is, I'll give this onesie a bit of a, uh, a vesting. So onward and upward. Uh, where to go? Forwards is a good idea. Still, wintry afternoon, low sun, bright blue sky, clear visibility. Nice. I was hoping that I'd see uh, a deer. Every time I come down here, if I haven't got the camera that is, I see a bloody uh, deer. And uh, every time I bring the GoPro, I don't. And even when I do see one, I stop. Every time I get my uh, mobile phone to take a picture of it, it's gone. <laughs> they don't hang about, do they? I think soon as soon you move, boom, they're off. Just uh, disappear like a ghost, boom. Uh, one day I'll capture one, but then uh, probably go for a little bit to pick it up because it's, uh, it's too far away to see. All right, so in the distance then is the uh, Ruan Potatoes. If we continue down this, it will take me to the Marshall Quarry, but uh, we're not going that way. We're gonna get to where the tree is and hang right over there, mate, team. I haven't been uh, over a motorway as such for a while and then uh, head on to the uh, outskirts of Atfield Woodhouse and possibly Lindome I think we'll see nice little steady hill climb and below we'll be the M18 to the right we'll be Junction 4 mile and a half and to the left will be the motorway services, the M180 to, uh, junction. So if you ever travel the uh, M18 and you go from junction four to five, there's only that bridge in between, that's the one. Okay, through some mud and puddles. Let's give this uh, dirt suit some uh, Something to try out. Oh. Well, I don't know about that, but <laughs> bloody face and goggles are covered, is it? And I do believe the camera got some and all. Yeah, well, that was fun. Oh, it's good that. Instead of nesting puddles, just go bloody through it. Like I said uh, in the last video, uh, the guy Russ, and I got his name wrong, I do apologise Russ, it's uh, Electric, oh god, Electric Rocket, oh sorry, Electric Crotch Rocket, <laughs> mm, mine boggles, uh, so that's uh, Russ, he's got a, a, an e-bag, he's from Swinton, uh, outside of Mexborough, um, 
I put his uh, channel in as well. It's always good to uh, watch others. Uh, and uh, Russ has done a few local ones, but obviously on the I suppose west side, west side of Doncaster, more Barnsley, Rotherham, around Wath, One Well, Swinton, and uh, obviously uh, the Don that everybody goes to at proper. Okay. Yep. So I've got my muddlegers on, I've got my uh, dirt suit on, uh, and I'm still getting <laughs> spray in the face. Ah, yeah. It's all good fun. All good fun. So, now this path here carries straight on, takes us to Gatewood Lane, I think it is, I'm unsure. But the, the lane itself, if you were to follow it, would take us, oh, look at those birds. Take us all the way to uh, Lindow. Those birds. Cool. That right name. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> oh, gosh, that bloody Battle of Britain here. The birds at uh, German bombers. Let's have a look. Just spent uh, 10 minutes talking to a local on his uh, crosser. That's great. Me telling him where to go, he probably can hear his motorbike behind us. He's told me straight on which uh, takes us down to Lindow. It's a bloody nightmare, which I thought it would be. So I'm going to take the left route here. See what this is like. See what this is like. Oops, right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, cheers, mate. Ta da. <laughs> Bandit, I think I might get my motorbike, yeah. I'll tell you what, I think I've took the wrong shuffling line here, haven't I? Look at the depth of bloody water. I don't know how deep that is, that's a... Oh, shit, that's a deep one. Oh. Yep. Wrong line, Danny lad. Get on there. Well, that was nice actually. It's like being a kid going through all puddles, playing a game. How deep is this puddle? Now we've done that. Uh, well, I was looking just before Christmas, uh, the channel had uh, 50, 50 subscribers, which uh, I was very pleased and shocked by. Um, I didn't realise I had that many. So, uh, if people are subscribing, and people are obviously liking what I'm doing. So thank you very much. If you get the opportunity just to hit the like button, uh, that helps me out, apparently. Um, but as I say, I set this channel up for me, for the personal record log. Uh, but if people find entertainment out of it and they find it useful, then I will continue. However, this uh, last couple of days, I, uh, I looked again and I got over 60 subscribers. So thanks again. I don't know uh, who you are, but please, if you do subscribe, just uh, put a comment in, you know, tell me uh, what you thought about the video. <laughs> I mean, I don't always watch them back again. It's, uh, it's naff watching yourself. Uh, but if there's anything that you want to see, you know, anything you want me to do less of, like talk, you know, just uh, put a comment. It's nice to have a bit of interaction. Uh, and uh, once again, thank you for your support. All 62 of you. Thank you very much. Oh God. So, I've come down that uh, little lane, which is the lake next to it, I'm not sure. Uh, if I'd have carried on it, it took me to down a side shoot off uh, Ancient Lane in Atfield Woodhouse. But I thought I'd cut across, and this will bring me out onto uh, Borchy Road, uh, opposite the old Lindome uh, prison. So I thought, I might just nip through there, and I might even go to, uh, Umbred, or what is known as Hatfield Moor, which seems to be very, very popular these days. If you haven't uh, ventured there, you see many, many cycle photographs on the Doncaster uh, Cycle uh, Group. And also, I think one of my third or fourth videos uh, has the Lindome uh, or Hatfield Moors on there. But recently, there's been a coffee truck, a converted uh, horse wagon that do. Uh, 
coffees. Uh, I'm not sure how to do bacon sandwiches, I don't know, but I did have one the other day um, and it was mint. Loved it, very good coffee. Uh, it's up there, we uh, the coffee shop, it's just proper for me. So, uh, ooh, God. so if you're new to this channel, you'll probably see a bit of the Lindome and uh, half your balls if I go that way. So we're on Bortry uh, Road, going into Lindome. Um, and on the left here is Sunnybank Gardens. It used to be a, uh, a nursery, but now uh, it's very much a uh, ice cream parlor, coffee shop and uh, cafe snacks. Great for kids, bouncy castle and uh, little, uh, I suppose little amusements and stuff and a crazy golf. Um, and also caravan storage. If anyone's got a caravan or motor around to stick, bring them up. These are quid a day. But again, that's shut. But they do do a nice coffee and beautiful ice cream. Absolutely, uh, it was about 30 flavours. Very nice. I do like to stop there and uh, in the height of summer, it's rammed. Families can't fault them really. Can't fault them. For Lindell, apparently I was wondering what its, uh, what its purpose was. Obviously it's an RAF station, but it was used to uh, protect RF Finley with the uh, Bloodhound missiles when they were in operation. But uh, I remember watching the little radar go around at the top when I was a kid. Because um, obviously fin uh, Lindo here, which is now the uh, prison, was an active base. Do I want this way? No, I don't want this one. Don't want this one. Get on the big stuff here. Get me bearings all wrong. Get me bearings all wrong. Yeah, I used to watch it uh, as a kid down in Atfield Woodhouse and the aeroplanes from Finley taking off and landing, and because uh, you can see it clearly. I used to come down here and uh, see the old uh, radar going round and round and round. And it wasn't until I uh, went looking at the Bloodhounds and the uh, history of RAF missing, where the Bloodhounds were kept and the missiles were used to protect the uh, RAF uh, base and uh, that radar was used to uh, orchestrate uh, missile strikes and uh, incoming apparently <sighs> All good stuff Right, we'll cut across here then Right, straight on and round is Edlin Dome and the prison and the uh, Umber Head, which I have done. I'm not going to do that again, I think. I'm going to go down this way. I think it joins up around the other side, but at least then uh, once I've been on it, I've done it, I'll be happy. So here it used to be the old runway many moons ago. Yeah. I think during the war, I'm not sure which aeroplanes it was, but I'm sure someone will correct me. But during the war, Second World War that is, it was a, uh, a bomber base. And I think it was Wellingtons. Wellingtons were in there. And uh, I think the Polish... Uh, I know Pol Poles were here. Because on the uh, Hatfield Moors is a memorial um, to uh, fallen airmen that crashed. Which was mentioned in uh, the video on uh, Lindome. So if you ever visit uh, Hatfield Moors, be sure to look out for the uh, memorial in the uh, in the Moorlands. And it's a beautiful place to uh, have a, uh, a walk and relaxation. I did go yesterday and the massive flight was frozen and cool. So much for global warming. Yeah, so this was the service road. All this from here to where the hangars are, there's a runway. Can't believe it. So you look in Google Maps, and you do the aerial shot, you can actually see the old runway. Um, I do remember when I was learning to drive around at 17, there's a few urban myth stories flying about that uh, friends or friends of friends used to come here in the cars practicing. I won't say they were doing donuts, but uh, they learned to drive here or drive the mate's car on, on the old runway before it was uh, took up. I'm being chased by MPs, but I can't validate any of that. That's, uh... yeah. 
in a way it's quite sad that the old RAF bases are gone. Quite nostalgic going at times. Oh, they're not needed, they're not needed, are they? So if I continue, it goes up and it goes around by the tree line and to here. So what I'm thinking is, I might just go up that one. I might just go up that one. I hope that it's, uh, it's passable. As soon as all traffic has been on here like this, turns it all up. Don't look too bad, does it? Oh, let's see. That's going to be on paths and time, right, to be fair. Paths are uh, rideable. Yeah, so here's the path that it joins on to. So here's the sound that road just goes all the way around, we just missed that bit out. You can continue but where the prison is. But we're gonna go here. And this is the the road to Lindholm Hall and the, the car park, it's uh Umberhead. Okay, so there's two car parks at Umberhead. There's a main one off uh, near Boston Park. And then there's one probably 200 meters around, around the corner. And uh, the other side of this woodland area is the other part of Humberhead that you can visit. I don't know if people know about that. So this is uh, a single tarmac road now all the way into Hatfield Woodhouse. A nice path, a steady path. just so much uh, openness around here all fields you know absolutely gorgeous sheeps are all in the fields now it smells like they're eating cabbage that has that smell about it Oof. smells like cabbage you got that all bloody farts won't it so oh no the vast openness around here it's uh, it's good just to get out and today, I know, oh, I, uh, I know we wait around places, but I think uh, just like that uh, little uh, track from uh, the old runway, it's just nice to think, right, you know what, I'm going to explore that. So if I see any more around here, I shall do that. Okay, we're at the end of this road now. I've had to put my face mask on because it was getting a bit nippy. Okay, so to the back of us is Lindo Hall and... Uh, the moors uh, to the right takes us to um, the Moorlands Peat uh, Factory and all the way down to uh, Santoft, Santoft Road. And down here takes us into Hatfield Woodhouse. So to the left of me here will be Hatfield Woodhouse. But I think we might just go straight on. I'm not sure yet. See how it pans out. John, that road takes us into Woodhouse where the school is, the primary school. But we'll go this way. Find some more funnels. There's a big one. <laughs> I always think I'm going to end up like. Uh... Oh, God, what's that bloody program now? I can't think now. Pick it a dib dibble dibbly or something. When I'm jumping in puddles and it goes right into a waist. But it's all good fun. I'm dry, warm, and happy. Ooh, that was a big one. Left takes us into Hatfield Woodhouse, which is probably 200 meters, 300 meters up there, straight on to Santoff Road. And up here, if we were to continue, it takes us around by where the tree line is, 
and takes us back onto the uh, the bridle path that takes us to um, well, Santoff Road basically, uh, where the peat factory is. But we're not going to do that one, that's uh, going back on the soles. I think we'll go down here and head up onto uh, Santoff Road near the Green Tree pub. That's what we'll do. What's that I've been on today actually? It's not churned up, not muddy, pretty compact. Grass is short, not bad. Well, it's, it's mid afternoon now, sun is low, the shadow is very long, and I know it's a drop in temperature because I'm getting, uh, my ears are getting cold, I've had to put my mask on. And it weren't that warm to start with, only about five, six degrees. I would have gone down to three or four, especially when there's no clouds about. But, uh, but it's still nice. The colours, the shadows, and the quietness. So we're just coming onto Santos Road. For those that know it, to the left is that uh, Woodhouse and the Green Tree, and to the right, seven miles down there, is Santos. Lovely road, <laughs> very bouncy. You have to take your life in your hands going uh, bombing down there with two dikes on either side. But, uh, yeah, let's uh, head down. God, that sun's bright now. But, um, full suspension off now. Not really bouncing. Alright. Yeah, just ahead now is the Green Tree Pub. Decisions, decisions, where to go after that. Yeah, I think we're going to uh, cross over basically and uh, check the bridle path. The sun is very low now. Don't want to get caught out on the roads. Hello. Yeah, well, this usually is uh, a bit muddy, a bit choppy, but uh, passable. It brings us out at the back of the uh, Hatfield Borstal, as it used to be known. There's the Borstal. I think it's like a Cat's Cat C or Cat D prison. I'm not too sure, but it did used to be for young offenders, but I have no idea anymore but uh, not too bad I put suspension back on them <laughs> oh, deepen this is a deepen oh dear Ooh, I do love puddles. Ooh, I like that one to eat. I'm going to show this one. Yeah, that farmer's range rover here as well then. There's out the uh, two geezers with shotguns. Not bloody shoot me. It's, uh, God knows what they're shooting, maybe rabbits. Ooh. Got rid of puddles and just got the churned up wood now. Oh, get out of here. Oh, Jesus, that's how I'm going. Well, brings me out now onto a little residential lane. In front of me then is the, uh, the road from Hatfield to Thorn with the uh, Kingswood Golf Course about half a mile up there and the M180 we're going straight on I often come down this way because this way takes us to the bridge of the Kamikaze but uh, I usually come down here so I don't often go this way so uh, it's a change for me today which is nice 
Ooh. Cool tree line. So we're gonna go up this bump for the change. You've already recognised it as I come down many a time on this one. But we're not gonna go over the bridge sit camera cars here, I don't think. I've done that one a bit, fair few times, but I can't go down camera cars here anyway. So I think I'll just get on to the top, and I'll go down to the side. <laughs> I know. For original or what? Yeah, to the right of the motorway. I think, uh, in all fairness, I think coming down it's better than going up it. As you know, I'm not a big climber. But it's a different perspective today going uh, the other way for the change. I'll get to the top and see how many miles I've done. I think it's about 12, 12 or 13. It's only going to be a short ride this. And here we are at the top. Yeah, we'll get back on this road actually. Yeah, this road is uh, it used to be the old exit for the M18 back in the 70s before they uh, they joined up the uh, the M18 from the M180 to uh, the 81. Used to be the old exit. Oh, 77, I think it opened. 77, 78, I think road opened. Oh yeah. Right, we're going to take this footpath. I know it's a footpath, but look at the size of it. To be honest, I'm not going to interfere with anybody. I think the farmer's uh, harvesting his sugar beet. So this will bring me back onto the main thorn road uh, which uh, the green tree is on. Good, you're all right. <laughs> I'm not. I'm going to leave you be. Okay. Look at you this time. Enjoy your food. Okay. Thanks for the chat. Ah, it's okay. Yeah, so I've done about 11 miles now. And uh, you can't get a local than uh, on your doorstep, can you? I mean, I'm very, very appreciative of the fact that uh, I've got so uh, much uh, on my doorstep because I do live in Atfield. And uh, although it's nice to venture further afield, this time of year, when you're just like early afternoon and you know it's getting dark, just to get out on your bike where you live, boom, and just do a fair few miles just locally. Um, And you can't beat it. I think that's applicable to a lot of people, really. I am very fortunate uh, living in uh, this side of Doncaster. I've got that much uh, rural uh, landscape to explore. And here we are. On the main Thorn Road, Slay Pit Lane. I could go down there, but I'm not. I'm going to go down here today, I think. Go back into Atfield Woodhouse. I think this is just a, uh, a backstop towards the community centre at Phil Woodhouse. And I'm going to nip back round, um, head back to Rouen Potato, I think. Uh, you go down the straight mile uh, towards 
Quarry Park or uh, Margaret Allings Lane. Not sure. Let's take it one step at a time, Danny lad. Yeah, just hit the quad mire. So the back of here is quite a few paths. Uh, but I don't really want to go exploring them when I like this. I think it's where people have walked. I'm assuming this is like common land. I'm a bit wary of these uh, brambles and thorns. My tyres, I do have a habit of getting a puncture. It's uh, hmm, very boggy around here. Yeah, so in front of me is the uh, Hatfield Woodhouse Community Centre. So if that rings any bells for anybody, you know where I am. Christ, what you end up as this? I'm going past the, uh, going past the community centre now. I think they're building some houses here as well. This will bring us onto the, uh, the Borshi Road, Leadendale Road, and that field would out. Hatfield yeah, Woodhouse Social Club. I remember playing them when I used to play darts for Ridgewood at Eden Thought 30 years ago. It's, uh... Yeah, entering Hatfield Woodhouse now. about that, another one added to the list of no in uh, shortcuts. Alright, so this will take us to the junction of uh, Ancient Road and straight on is the bridge over the uh, M18 and Ruan Potatoes. And I think I'll just head back then back to Quarry Park. We'll just come over the uh, M M18 and uh, we want potato to the left. Lings Lane, straight on. I think I might just go down here, car side lane. If you're unfamiliar with this, it runs alongside the, uh, the M18, past some nice secluded houses, and it brings us out into Hatfield, near the uh, residential home and cricket club, Hatfield Cricket Club. It's been a long time since I've been down here, probably last year. Oh, not longer. Here yeah, we have a few residentials around here. And then uh, straight into uh, the mud and the guts of the bridle path. Probably about 10 years ago now or more, had the misfortune of coming down here um, and in one of the side bits of the field was a carcass of an horse. Uh, quite upsetting actually to see. If I say horse it was in between a... Oh Christ, what was that? <laughs> a bit uh, 
So for now, I'll rip me up, mate. I'll rip me off. Yeah, it was a, a youngish horse. It weren't mature, it weren't a baby. It was still sad to see. I don't know what had happened with it, obviously someone had just dumped it about here. I don't know what the proceedings are we animals, but I thought if you if you own that horse and it's in your care and it died, you took the trouble of actually bloody driving down here with your truck, you need locking up. You know, it was a nice sight. Okay, coming into Hatfield now. So right here is the uh, Hatfield Town Cricket Club. And then just around the corner here is the uh, the uh, residential uh, care home. Which when I was a kid used to be a uh, squash club. I used to go there when I was at school. Or rather, I used to go there when I was attending school, school age. Obviously, when I was at school, I used to go to school. <sighs> Stop talking rubbish, Donny. Uh, where to now then? Well, it's getting dark, so I think I need to uh, stay on the footpaths and keep off the main roads. Got my Ivy's uh, onesie on. Yeah, I feel church in the uh, distance there. I'm gonna take a left into Grange Avenue. the Hatfields, that was once known as the Country Club. I'm going to head towards uh, the Chase pub here and there's a, uh, a idle path that I want to go down on this narrow pavement. Right. Thanks very much. Cheers. Ooh, someone's got a fire on go. Yeah, so this bridle path and I just sent me right back to uh, Quarry Park and I started off my journey today. Yeah, to the right is uh, Atty High School and I started my uh, teaching career, god, 30 years ago that. First school I started work at, at the high school. Anyway guys, I think I've done about 15, 16 miles the time I get back to uh, Quarry Park. But, uh, thanks for watching. Um, like I say, it's the first time you've been here. Thanks for coming. Please like, subscribe. And uh, in hindsight, I'm not sure. I don't know whether this is going to be an underwhelming video or not. But uh, it was local. And uh, like I say, check out... Uh, Gus Newton on uh, what's it called? Electric crotch rocket, and also the Doncaster uh, cycle page, which uh, I'll put links to anyway in the description. So uh, thanks again, and uh, Daniel, I'll catch you soon. Ciao.